short video about upgrading slash replacing the hard drive in the Acer Revo RL100 it's a little compact sort of media centre sort of PC thing it's designed to sit by your TV and this model is the RL100 it's an Athlon 2 Neo Nvidia Ion 4 gig of RAM originally came in Windows 7 but it has got Windows 10 on it uh, initially a 500 gig hard drive but we're going to swap that over uh, it does Blu-ray, card reader and of course it's got wireless internet and uh, quite a funky little keyboard thing which we'll look at in a second so um, take off the aerial there's no point in taking the little feet off because there are no screws underneath those feet no screws underneath those feet that is just to cover the license sticker so don't be worried about that if I push that out, that's the keyboard slash touchpad. That's it being a keyboard. Click that switch and it's mouse pad and it's got a volume, so that's quite cool. So that comes off. Then uh, we're going to put that in there, 750 Evo. The screwdriver, you will need a 2mm hex bit like this. On the back we have one, two, three, oh, a bit stiff. four, very flush two mil hex screws. I have a tricky bit. Um, down the side here and here there are no screws. There are also no screws at the front. So the top comes off after undoing those screws but then you have to release the clips on the side. You will probably break them. It doesn't matter because they aren't needed to keep it together. Um, but we'll just get that off. There might be a bit of swearing because it's quite difficult to get it undone. There's actually a screw there, which I'm going to undo anyway. Again, it's two mil hex. So that was in there, in there, that one in there. So let's see if we just tease it off. I'm going to need my knife for this. There we go. You'll probably find it a bit more difficult because there's various clips. One there, one there, one there, and that one there has actually snapped off. But you do need to undo that screw on the edge. And there's the lid. So then what you see inside is the actual um, device itself. There's the hard drive. Unfortunately, the screws fastening it are underneath the motherboard. So we actually have to take quite a lot of it apart. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to get my knife and I'm just going to flick this out here. If I can get a bit of purchase on it. This is the little adapter for the mouse touchpad thingy. Little USB thing. So that comes out of there. Also you need to take out the blanking plate for the card reader. You don't need to take that bit out because it's just a cover. So that's that. Now unfortunately we have to take the whole thing apart to get it out. So I'm going to take the uh, use a lot of screwdriver then. I'm going to take the CD drive out so I can get at the cables. 
There aren't any shortcuts, unfortunately. So here comes the CD drive. Release those two screws. Right, it just comes out. There it is. It, it's a laptop one, so it does seem a little bit flimsy, but it does have to go forwards and it lips out. It's got these little catches on the side there. So I'm going to keep those screws next to that. And I'm going to flick up the little connector and take the ribbon cable off for the um, little circuit board here that links into the CD player, DVD player with the ripper. And now we've got to unscrew that screw there, that screw there. We've also got to undo that screw and that screw. So those are the main screws holding things on. We've also got to take this screw off here, which holds the fan. Just to make sure you can see them. One there, one there. I'll hold them up. One there, one there, one there, one there. One there. We've also got to take off that one, that one, that one, and that one. Uh, actually, we might be okay. Uh, yeah, we have to take it off because there's there's a screw behind the heatsink bit there that we can't get at. So I'm taking them off as well. And the heatsink assembly can come off. These are captive screws, so they just unscrew and they stay in. They're part of the cooling assembly. They also hold the motherboard on anyway, so they will definitely have to come off. And then we lift that out, and then we just go over to here and clip. wireless antennae black on the first one nearest the front just form those over out of the way and then do that screw which holds the fan on you know the whole fan comes off we'll just disconnect the fan as well just give it a wiggle and off it comes and that's the screw for that now with that out of the way comes off and there's the main motherboard everything on it on the back of that we have the glue's deteriorated on that a little bit I'll put some more on there get a bit of tape one two three four just stand that out the way there's one here one here Here and one here. And now the drive should slide out. So there's the old drive. Now I'll get the new one. Two fifty gig SSD. You could put a big one in. Put it in the, in the interface. Slide it in. When you turn it over, the screw hole should line up. So we'll just pop the screws back in. You don't want to over tighten them. They do need to be in. The SSDs obviously haven't got any moving parts so they won't vibrate 
So this should actually make the PC quieter. Well, it does have a fan on it. That's not a massively powerful fan. So it would actually have to spin. Now, that there is a little plant plastic that sort of little lens sort of thing that channels the LED. That will almost certainly fall off like it's just done for me. So you just push it back into its little hole and away it goes. And then we just do everything else in reverse now. So slide that in there, making sure that it fits properly. And you don't get any funny bits of metal sticking into any of the sockets. lined up. I'm going to put these screws in now just to get rid of them. And the surface of the desk like this. in we can clip that underneath there before we put the heat sink back on black was at the front remember uh, I don't know if it matters anyone thinks it does matter please put it in the comments get it in the right place there The wires want to sit where they want to sit uh, because they've been in that position so long. You get that blow wire at it that you don't really have to use any force. It's sort of remembered where it was. So we put the screws on there. Got one, two, three, four written on them. I'm just wondering if that's the order you do them up in. So I'm going to do them up in that order. So everything is deliberate, nothing's happened by accident, so I'll probably put one, two, three, four on there for a reason. Rather than just indicate how many screws there were. See what I mean? So then we'll just put that back down to get the airflow into that. And we're going to go back in. Just need to get it in the right place and slot it in. Two screws. back in adapter for that, lift it up, push that back in, um, and that's basically how you do it. 
it is a bit of a fiddle. Um, I can't really zoom very well with this bloggy, but I'll just give you a very quick recap. Once you've undone the four 2mm hex bolts on the back and the one hidden on the side, the case then unclips one, two, three clips. Well, actually, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you'll need to tease those off. There's a couple of sort of bits on the front where it goes in and then clips down. So obviously, they, when they built it, it goes on, down, and they screwed it up. You probably will break some. It doesn't matter um, in terms of the structural integrity of the device. The lid still stays on. But um, don't, so don't worry. Then you've got one, two, three obvious sort of motherboard screws, two screws for the CD drive, slide those off, one, two screws for the fan, third screw for the fan is underneath the heatsink, so one, two, three, four, lift all that off, unclip the aerials, black at the front. When you lift that off, you can get at that screw, undo that screw, take the fan off, unplug it, unclip the data ribbon there, then it should just lift up and then wriggle it and it will tease out from the back because these are, especially the HDMI and the optical out, they are quite flush and they do fit in the hole. Once that's done, turn it over, one, two, three, four screws on the back, slide it, lift it, put it in, move it forward, that's the new drive, turn it over, one, two, three, four screws, do everything else in reverse. And that is essentially it. Any questions, um, put them in the comments. Uh, when it comes to reinstalling Windows, if you've taken advantage of the Windows 10 upgrade, then you don't need to enter a CD key. So when it starts to install, you just skip the bit with the CD key because it will remember the hardware profile of the device and it should automatically activate. That makes life so much easier. Um, I can't remember if it supports all the devices out of the box. I haven't tried to install the latest version yet, but I will be installing it on this one. Just I won't be doing it as part of this video. This video is more the, the screwdriver nuts and bolts thing. Um, so I hope you enjoyed watching it and I hope it's, um, it's helped you. It's uh, not as difficult as it um, appears, but they have made it as difficult as possible because you have to take the whole thing apart. But I hope um, you found this video helpful and that it saved you some money. Thanks for watching.